using the OBD11 uh, interface, we're going to check the timing uh, after we had to mess with the injection pump or after you do a timing belt change, you have to set it back. So on this axis, you have the temperature of your fuel. And on this axis, you have the timing. And what we're gonna do is we've got it all set up and we're gonna talk to the engine. Engine. really hard and you need to be at operating temperature you'll notice that the glow plug light is flashing that's typical with throwing this code saying that uh, your amount of uh, fuel and or your, your the, the timing here is off okay here we are on the engine now we're gonna go to live data we're gonna put in group 000 Hit OK. And it's thinking. And again, we're going to basically want to see that the values are within this chart. You can find this chart online. It's from the exciting, more expensive VAGCOM tool. So here we go. We're looking at engine idle uh, of 43 is right within the uh, 900 range, 902 or 903 is what it equates to. Uh, start of injection range, this is what we're looking at, 38, 36. That puts us over here, right on this, uh, basically at, right at that red spot uh, where it touches that vertical axis. And if we scroll down here, we'll see the fuel temperature. We don't want the engine coolant temperature, we want the actual fuel temperature. And it's at 134. So we're going to go over here to 1. Now these lines are a little misgiving, a little a little confusing here. 242, this is actually this, this is actually that, it's that, it's that. This is 130 line right here. So 1... 34, which is basically right where this yellow line is. Kind of amazing. Uh, and again, we were at right about here. So we're just a little, a little low of the center blue line. We're, we're almost within range, but not quite. So we're going to want to bring it up to here. And that would mean we're advancing uh, the timing a bit more. To advance the timing, we are going to take the 20 millimeter nut and pull it forwards towards the front of the car. Uh, backwards would be retarding it, and that should do the trick. So that's how you use this exciting little device, and you don't have to buy an expensive Vagcom from Rostec, who should lower their prices. Thank you very much.